Hi uh, guys, welcome to uh, another video on Fantasy Star Online 2. Uh, I just wanted to do, do a quick video, really, of the, the new feature that's been added to the game, which is the gathering system. It was added in a recent update, um, and just gives another dimension to the game, really. Uh, another thing for you to do um, when you're not questing. So the gathering system basically is split into, um, there's a mixture of fishing and mining as well. Mining, you tend to get things like rocks and food items, and fishing, obviously, you tend to get fish, and you get a couple of other things as well. You use them for a few different things, and um, there's some client orders that you can get that ask you to, to gather certain items. But there's also um, there's also other things you can use the gathered items for. One of the things they've added is a, a new system, which is um, the ring system. So if I go into my gear, you can see there's now actually slots for rings a left ring and a right ring. Left rings tend to give you an ability that benefits something for your class. So for example this ring I've got here is a um, tech charge parrying. So the way this works is if I start charging a, a technique with my force just as I'm about to get hit occasionally I'll actually parry the attack. It's not very good to begin with because the timing window for it's really really tight but you can actually level these rings up which I'll come to in a minute and that improves them and then the right rings are they're, they're quite interesting because they actually allow you to do things from other classes so I've got um, a perfect keeper ring perfect keeper is actually a gunner skill that boosts your damage while your health is above a certain amount so using this ring I now have the ability of perfect keeper on a force so you can make some really cool, um, cool class combinations. So if I go to the, the ring shop, you can see that there's all sorts of different ones you can get, uh, but they all require materials to make. You also need materials to um, grind them as well. The grinding system actually works a little bit different for rings too, in that you use grinders and um, gathered items to grind them. And you also need to have enough experience on the rings to actually level them up. And you get that by just killing enemies with the ring equipped. So you can see, you might be able to see on this ring here, um, you can see it says that it's level 1, which is why it's a plus 1. And it, uh, it says that it needs 100% experience to level up. So once that hits level 2, you, you be able to level it up to a plus 2 ring, which will improve the effect of it a bit. So it's a really cool system actually, it gives a bit more flavour to some of the classes. Um, it allows people to mix up their play styles quite a bit as well. So that's one of the main benefits of the new um, gathering system. It just allows you to mix up your classes a bit more and at the end of the day it gives you something else to do in the game. This area I'm in now by the way was also added in the same update. This is Franca's Cafe. You may remember Franca was an NPC who used to stand in the, uh, the shop area and she mentioned that she was a cook. She's actually now opened this cafe and um, so she's out here now. Um, she gives you the same client order she always has done, but there's also other NPCs like um, Sophia and it looks like uh, Yarkis. Um, they give you MP um, client orders as well. But it's a really cool little area because not only does it have the, the ring shop, there's also um, a shop here that you can buy recipes from. Uh, recipes, they, they're used when you're gathering to boost certain things. So for example, um, let's have a look. The sashimi recipe, for example, that gives you um, a 3% th chance to get an extra gathering attempt. And it also gives you a 30% greater chance of um, getting looks like minerals and stones. So obviously you'd use that for if, if you were gathering and you wanted to collect stones. And you unlock more of these by gathering certain items. There's also other miscellaneous um, recipes, like these things like, um, this is a delicious burger and that completely refills your PP. And there's also a Tokyo style hamburger as well that fully refills your HP. So there's a couple of other items as well. It's also quite a handy area because it has, you've got all your terminals and everything that you need, but there's also a daily orders desk so you can pick them up from there instead of going to the uh, the gate area and there's also a quest counter as well with um, a link to the camp ship which is really really handy. I'll just run, give a quick run around this area because it is quite a cool area and it's, it's quite a decent size as well. So you've got this um, table area down here. There's also an outside area with some benches over there that you can see. You can sit on all the benches as well which is quite good. 
Then there's an upstairs area. <laughs> Sorry if I sound like I'm full of cold, by the way. Um, I've been feeling like this for a little while there, but you probably notice it a bit in the recording. So a few NPCs up here again, there's loads of seats. Uh, if this looks very empty, it's because I'm in um, what's called the premium block at the minute. And there's an, actually an emergency quest on at the minute that I've just missed, so um, so everyone will be running that, I think. But yeah, it's just loads and loads of space up here. One of the funniest bits actually up here is um, if I'm fine, man. I'm trying to remember where they are now. I think they're over here. Yeah. Yeah, this NPC here is quite funny because if you look at them, it might be quite hard to see, but on their laptop they're actually playing PSO2. You know, PSO2 Inception. Also, for no reason you can jump off here onto there. I have no idea why. Anyway, I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll go to uh, one of the areas you can gather from. The only downside about the gathering system so far is that it's very limited. At, at present, you can only gather in Forest, Nibirius Ruins, um, Vorpal Coast, and Tokyo. And in those areas, you can only gather in the free missions for some reason. I think they're going to add more eventually, but it just seems a bit lacking at the minute, unfortunately. So what I'll do is, um, I'm not really looking for anything in particular at the minute, so I'll load up. I think what I'll do is I'll load Tokyo. Yeah, I'll do Tokyo because Tokyo is one of the easiest areas to, to gather in. One of the problems is that because you're gathering in a mission that has enemies, sometimes the enemies will get in the way of the gathering. So, with with Tokyo, the way it works is um, the the map shows where the next spawn is going to be, so you just run away from that and just find somewhere where there's no spawn, so it's really easy to gather in. I don't think I've shown Tokyo off either. It, this was added um, when episode 4 was launched. And the idea is that Earth's being brought into the story. Uh, it's a complete... Um, it, it, it's quite strange, the uh, the inclusion of Earth. And the, the choice of enemies is very weird as well. The idea is that it's full of phantoms. Um, so you've got things like zombies, there's random T-Rexes, there's um, runaway cars. One of the bosses is a... Is a collection of bullet trains that turns into a hydra, there's tanks, there's um, helicopters that are possessed, it, it's just mad really, there's, there's no other word for it. It's a really cool area though. Um, Quite a lot of people here at the minute, actually, um, considering I'm in normal Tokyo. Looks like they've just finished an emergency squad there. One of the really cool things about Tokyo is it has these um, these running pads, which when you start running on them, you, you build up a lot of speed and it'll make these rings appear, a bit like, you know, Sonic. And you can jump through the rings to keep the momentum going, and then whenever you want to attack an enemy, you can end the momentum with a flying kick. So, if I just look at the map, you can see on the map that some of the gathering spots are actually mapped out. It shows a few, there's like a few little pickaxes on the map. They're all mining spots, and if it shows fish, that's where you can fish. So what I'll do is I'll have a look around and I'll see if I can find somewhere that's got some fish. Because what I ideally want... You can see what I mean about the rings here. I'm just going to go over here actually because I don't want to set the spot on off, because I can't go out fighting enemies at the minute. Those, um, if you haven't noticed, the green things that I'm running past every now and again, they are the mining spots. So I'll end up with a flying kick here. So this is one of the areas that you can gather in. Um, normally there is a fishing spot here. I'm actually really surprised that there isn't. Normally you get a fishing spot around here. Is it possible I've actually got a map here that doesn't have a fishing spot? It looks like it. Yeah, I think I've actually got a map that you can't fish in. Right, what I'll do is I'll just reload the mission. Um, normally there are fishing and mining spots. The reason I want both is because 
there's a feature with um, gathering called Fever, which is every time you gather it, you have a chance to activate Fever. Um, when that happens, you have you can gather endlessly until you run out of stamina, or you can. Um, well, you also get an increased payload from your from your um, gathering. But what a lot of people do is, um, because you do have limited stamina, you can see that um, just under where it shows all my money and everything, you can see there's, there's a level 6 and a level 7. That's stamina for um, and levels for mining and for fishing. Every time you mine or fish, you lose 10 stamina. Um, you regain stamina over time, but it's a really, really slow regenerate. Um, the only other ways you can get your stamina back is either by levelling up, which refills your stamina, uh, levelling up your gathering, that is, not your character or by using a, a stamina drink. A stamina drink, you can get a couple of them from client orders, but they're primarily premium you know, axe cash items that you have to pay for. It's one bad thing about the gathering, they did really try and shill it. There's a lot of things you can buy with axe cash that are connected to gathering. Thankfully, you can still gather okay without buying them. So let's have a look at this map and see if we've got um, any fishing spots. <laughs> One thing you might notice is that Tokyo has full day and night cycles. Um, well, actually, it's not cycles. You, you either get a day map or a night map, it seems. But the music is actually different depending on if it's day or night. If you get a daytime map, it has a quite sort of relaxed music and the, the lyrics are in English. But if you have a nighttime map, sorry, the, the lyrics are in Japanese and the daytime map. Um, if you get a nighttime map like this, it's sort of more frenetic music and the lyrics are in English. It's quite a cool feature really. So what I'll do is I'll run around the map and I'll see if I can find somewhere that's got fish. You'd think finding fish in Tokyo would be easy but uh, apparently not. Plenty of mining spots. There are fishing spots in Tokyo, honest. Is there any around here? Yep, we've got one here. Finally. So you can see there's like a blue spot in the water over there, and this is the point you can fish from. So what I'll do is I'll fish a little bit, um, there's actually a mining spot up there as well. So I'll fish for a bit and then if I get a fever I'll switch over to mining. I just want to say as well that the Tokyo music's really good. Really, really catchy. So you just interact with these and you've got three options. First one is to use like a standard tool, which is infinite uses, but you still use 10 stamina. The next one is a master tool, which is, guess what, Axe Cash. And the third one is a good tool. Um, you get good tools now and again from achievements for gathering. So they're not too bad. It's funny because every time I think of them, I think of the old rod, the good rod, and the super rod from uh, Pokemon. So we'll just use a standard rod. And the way it works is, basically, you dangle the rod in the water and after a little bit you'll get a bite on the rod which will be shown by... I'll just wait for this announcement to finish. Yeah, so um, you'll get a bite on the rod which you'll actually see in the water but you'll also get a red sphere thing will go around your character which looks a bit like the just attack symbols which I'm sure you... Uh, like that red... The red circle you can see there, you'll see one of those around your character. And that's when you need to, uh, to reel the rod in. There's no real failure unless you totally miss it. And th the mining is really lacking, to be honest. The mining is just, you select where to mine, press confirm and watch your mine. There's no interaction with that really, unfortunately. So we'll cast the rod anyway in the water. So yeah. You don't always get fish, you sometimes get, in, in Tokyo at least, you sometimes get junk, like a coke can. Now you might see at the top right of the screen it says one combo and there's a count, a count and down. Every time you gather that combo goes up and the, and the timer resets. Um, if you get to 25 combo you get a guaranteed fever, but a fever can happen before then, randomly. So there I've caught, I think that's a tuna. It shows you the size of them as well, so you can try and get a, a decent sized one. I quite like the uh, the gathering room, so it's quite a relaxing um, thing to do. 
So after you've used the spot three times, it moves. For the fishing ones, they tend to just move a little bit away because there's not that many maps with water, so they tend to be quite condensed. For the mining ones, it's quite annoying because they can be all over the map. So you can see how combo meter's building up. Sometimes you'll you'll get days where you'll get a fever and you'll level up. Oh, I've got shrimp there. Um, sometimes you'll run out of stamina before you can get anything going. Really, it's a bit RNG, but that's very much a PSO too. Let you cook cans. Maybe that's why Tokyo's so clean. All the rubbish is in the water. I hope not. Another coke can, seriously. See, you might have saw a little message at the bottom of the screen there. What that was, it was saying um, that I'd, I'd got an achievement and it gave me um, a recipe. So that's how you unlock them. Once you've unlocked the recipe, you can buy it in the shops as well. Right, so we've actually ran out of stamina, you can see 0 out of 100, and um, we haven't levelled up or got a fever, so I, I can't fish anymore now unless I use a stamina drink. So now I'll, I'll do some mining, I'll show you how that works. Like I say, again you've got the, the standard, the master and the good tools. I can't imagine the government would be very happy about you just using a pickaxe on the pavement in the middle of Tokyo, but okay. I think those were soybeans, I think. Some wasabi. You can see now there's a bit more of a run to get to the next gathering point. Got another recipe there. Right, so we've got a fever. So now what we can do is, we've got about 40 stamina left, so we can do a few more times. You can see now I've got like, I'm gathering a little bit more, and I can gather from this more time, so I've got three wasabi there instead of one. Now that, that happened there, that was called a one more. What that is, is you get one more gathering attempt, but it doesn't cost you any stamina, it's just random when it happens. So I think that's it, yeah. We've run out of stamina now for for our mining as well, so we can't gather now unless we use like stamina drink. So you can see I've got a decent amount of stuff there. Um, some, it looks like earth rocks, some wasabi, some, I think they're soybeans, some tuna. Can't remember what they are to be honest. Um, some shrimp and some cork cans because, yeah. So then what we can do is then, uh, we can go back to well, we'll just quit this fish actually. Like I say, your stamina does regen over time, but it is very, very slow. Um, it's ex extremely slow. I, I think you have to wait about, is it, I think it's about four or five hours for your stamina to reset fully. So it, it is trying to get people to buy these stamina drinks, which I don't really agree with. So you can see these are the materials you can use. Um, the food items tend to be used for recipes. Um, I don't think the cork cans are used for anything. I mean, it actually says gummy, gummy on the description. Uh, gummy, as far as I know, is Japanese for junk. Um, and the, the rocks, they're one of the things that's used to make rings. So yeah, it's quite a cool system, really. Uh, it's just nice to have something else to do. Because that was one of the problems I was having with PSO2. Um, I was finding that there wasn't a great amount to do when emergency quests weren't on. He says as he does this while an emergency quest is on. Just trying to think if there's anything I can show you. Oh yeah, there's one little uh, fun thing in the cafe. When you sit down, you get um, something in front of you. But every time you sit down, it's, it's something different. And you can actually... I'm using a PS3 controller for this. And if I press triangle, it actually changes what's in front of you. Just a cool little feature waiting. 
chill with your friends and decide what you're having. Cake, probably. There's quite a few different ones as well. That looks like, is that, is that Saki, I think? Big steak. Or you can have nothing. I don't know why you come to a cafe and have nothing, but okay. So yeah, it's, it's quite a cool feature, really. Um, so I think I'll end this video there. Just a very brief look at the gathering system, really. Um, I just thought it'd be quite interesting to, to go into it. Um, would have been better if I'd have got a level up or, or something so I can gather for a bit longer, but that, that's how it goes with gathering sometimes. So I'll end this video there. Um, I'll probably upload some more PSO2 videos um, when I get a chance, really. Um, and for anyone wondering about the Hyper, Hyper Damage Neptunia series I was doing, I I've pretty much stopped with that, really. Um, really, for, for the amount of time that it was taking to do all the, the run-throughs, um, for the amount of views, really, I, I don't really think it was worth doing. And the fact, really, it was Rebirth 1. And now we've got like Rebirth 2, Rebirth 3, and Hyper Damage Neptunia, you Action Unleashed, they're all on Steam now as well. And there's no way I could keep up with all of them, so I think we got a bit off more that could chew. So I'll probably stick to mainly PSO2 videos when I upload. Um, it seems like some people are interested in this, so. I just want to re emphasize as well, really, that if you are a Western player and you are interested in PSO2, it is very. You know, it, it's not that hard really to get on the Japanese version and I would strongly suggest playing the Japanese version instead of waiting for an English release or playing the, uh, the Southeast Asian version unless you've got no choice. Um, it's a much better version really um, and at, at this point you know, we are looking at the Japanese version's been out about three maybe coming up four years now and there's still no sign of an English release. So I think at this point it is very, very safe to assume that it is just dead in the water. So if you want to play PSO2, play this version. Um, if you've got any questions or anything on how to do that, just leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer what I can. Uh, but it, it isn't that difficult really. And you don't even really need to know that much Japanese, um, if any really. Um, a lot of it's just recognition of where the, men of where the menus are. So anyway, I'll end this video there. Um, I'll put some more up soon or some other things that have been added. Um, hopefully it's been fairly useful. And if you've got any questions about uh, either gathering or about PSO2 in general, just leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer them. So for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.